It's time for another pop day with Mumbles and the always very kissing Mr. Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pup Day. On today's episode, I'm tackling a topic that I haven't really talked much about. Today, I'm tackling on how to brush your dog. So the proper way to brush your dog, because you want your dog to be as beautiful as little Mr. Dancer here. But it takes some work. So I'm going to give you some tips to help you properly brush your dog next. So guys, as with every week, I put Dancer down for this segment. We're going to get straight into the tips and the proper way to brush your dog. Now, first things first, you need to consider what type of dog you have. And by this, I mean what type of hair they have. For Dancer, he's a long-haired dog. So for a long-haired dog, such as Collies and Terriers, you need to brush them weekly. A pin brush works to remove hair without causing pain, can reach down to the skin, and can help you get out any knots that you have. Now, this is different from other dogs. Short-haired dogs, such as Labrador Retrievers, don't need as much brushing as, say, a long-haired dog. And they also use a different kind of brush. They can use a stiff, natural bristle brush or a soft, slicker brush, which has tiny little metal pins in it to help you get down in that short fur and get uh, any knots or any mats or anything like that and get a nice job brushing them. And finally, there is one more too. Short, wiry breeds such as Dotsons and most Terriers need a slicker brush, followed by a once-over with a metal comb every couple days. So guys, there's three main combs. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you pictures now. So guys, I'm going to summarize that real quick for you. So basically, pin brush for long-haired dogs. For short-haired dogs, use a slicker brush, metal pins. Finally, for short, wiry breeds, use a slicker brush and a metal comb. Now guys, I'm going to tell you some tips on how to best brush your dog. First, number one, brush out and away, starting with your dog's skin. So basically, you take the brush, you put it towards their skin, don't push too hard or anything, then you simply comb outward, just like you do with your hair. Comb outward. You do not want to irritate their skin by going too rough, so do a nice, gentle, soft brush. Number two. Take your time to untangle any hair that becomes tangled. Do not go rough. Go as gentle as you would with your own hair. Remember, your dog has feelings too. And hair, when it gets stuck together, that hurts. My third tip is if you do encounter matted hair, there's a couple different things you can do. The first thing you could do is try to apply some coat conditioner to try to loosen the knot. If this fails, the best thing that you can probably do is get out the scissors, take a comb, put it in between the knot and your dog's skin. The reason that you do this is so that you do not accidentally cut something that you shouldn't cut. You do not want to cut your dog. So having something between your dog and its hair can really be beneficial. Then simply, slowly and calmly, cut the knot. Very simple. Number four. Do not forget to brush your entire dog. Guys, it's not just the coat on the sides and their back and all that stuff. You need to brush their ears. Their ears can get very tangled. You need to brush their feet. Their feet hair can get very tangled. You need to brush their tail. Tail can get very tangled. You got to brush the whole entire dog. It's not just one part or the other. The whole thing. If it's got hair on it, gently brush it. So guys, our fifth and final tip is be consistent. With brushing your, their teeth and with brushing their coat, you guys got to be consistent. It, you got to try to do this at least once a week, sometimes more. With Dancer, really it depends on how his coat is looking. For example, he is very active, so he likes to get out and run and things like that. His hair can get tangled, blah, 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 blah. If we see that his hair is tangled, then we have to do it more than once a week. Sometimes we have to do it two or three times a week. Sometimes it's a couple times each day. It just depends on what dancer, but we try to make sure to maintain his coat very well. Usually, once you get into a routine with your dog, you don't have to worry about it, you just follow the routine. They'll be ready for it, they'll enjoy it, and you can enjoy it. So guys, be consistent with this. Now I'm gonna go get dancer because we all know it wouldn't be a video without some puppet play. So guys, now that we've learned how to properly brush your dog, it's time for our pop in play segment where you get to see cute little Mr. Dancer have all sorts of fun. And here it is. Ew. 
anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pup Dates. I hope that this can help you guys properly brush your dog so that they have a lovely coat and they, they just look gorgeous because we want all of your pets to look gorgeous. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go sit Mr. Dancer down for a nap because he is awful tired. And we will see you guys all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Say bye-bye, Mr. Dancer. Say bye-bye. Oh, he's giving you guys dancer kisses. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.